Hello makers and tinkerers. Have you ever wanted to test your project before making a breadboard mess? This is the video for you. We're going to look at an online Arduino simulator. Let's get started. The simulator we're going to talk about is Wakui. It's an online simulator that can simulate an Arduino, ESP32, STM32, or even a Raspberry Pi Pico. Head over to wakui.com. Here, you will have the options to select your board. Let's look at Arduino first. Select Arduino. You can select from a list of the featured projects here. Or scroll down to select a board and start an empty project. Let's select Arduino Uno. So, you'll be given an Arduino Uno to begin the project. And as you can see, the sketch is on this side. It can be coded just like the Arduino IDE. Let's add an LED. Click on the plus button and search for LED. Click on the LED. Next, add a resistor. You can change the value of the resistor by clicking on it and selecting here. And in the same way, you can change the color of the LED. To rotate the components, click the Rotate button or simply press R. To connect the components, click on a pin and then simply click on the other pin to connect it to. Connect the resistor to pin 13 and the positive pin of the LED. Connect the ground to ground. Then I'm writing a simple blink sketch using pin 13. Next, to run it, all you have to do is click on the Run button. The code will compile and run, right here on your browser. Now, you can add any components from this list. Let's add an OLED display, for example. And we need a library to use the display. To install the library, Let's go to the Library Manager. Click on Add Library. For the OLED display, add the Adafruit SSD 1306 library. That's it. The library is installed. Connect the display to the Arduino. I've loaded Adafruit's sample project from the library. Let's run the sketch. This way, you can add and control any components you like. There are also many community member projects. And for the Arduino projects, we also have the Nano and Mega available. You can choose the board you want. Next, let's start an ESP32 project. You can either select ESP32 and create a new project, or open a project from the templates. Everything else remains the same as using the Arduino simulator. But here we have a simulated Wi-Fi network. You can use the SSID Wakui guest to connect and simulate an internet connection. This project has an LCD screen and it updates the time from an NTP server online and displays the time. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is connected to our Wakui Guest Wi-Fi. And if you already have a project to test, you can replace the SSID with this and leave the password blank. It will work in the simulator. For ESP32, you can also use MicroPython. To do that, in the home page, select MicroPython. Then, select the ESP32 project. Just like that, you can create a MicroPython project here. In the same way, you can also simulate other boards, such as a Raspberry Pi Pico, or even an STM32 board. Comment if you need a detailed tutorial on any specific parts of the simulator. As always, a like and subscribe is much appreciated.